All right, we're gonna check out this Remington 1100 12 gauge today. Uh, not too long ago, I reviewed a 20 gauge version, the LT20. Uh, both of these made possible by my friend Andrew, so I really appreciate him loaning us the guns for the reviews. Uh, but this one is just a bare bones 1100 12 gauge, as I said, so everything's factory stock. Uh, except he did said he worked on something in there. He had to, I guess, machine a little. He said, huh, I hope it runs because I had to do this and I haven't shot it since. <laughs> so hopefully she runs for us today or this video is going to be a bust. Uh, so anyways, it's a little bit older. I'm not sure the age on it or whatnot. You know, maybe 70s, 80s, something like that. Uh, but good old 1100 here, as you can see there. Uh, it's got modified choke, I believe fixed choke. Uh, I don't think it has removable. The newer models of the 1100s do have uh, interchangeable choke tubes you can take out and change, but this one being an older classic, uh, it is a fixed choke. 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch shells, so no three inch through this one. Like I said, just your basic uh, 1100 here, oldie but a goodie. So I got some different ammo here to try out today. I uh, got some of this just standard eight shop stuff. Knock down some steel with it. We'll do some patterns back there at 20 yards. Uh, I got some of these. I do intend to go out to the clay range here in a second and bust some clays with it. Uh, hopefully have time to try some slugs out on the rifle range. And I got some double up buckshot here as well. A little pinch for time here to uh, go shoot the clays before they close. So uh, this one's gonna be a little faster pace. So let's get started. So I'm going to reuse this target here once. Just got some 22 caliber holes in the center there. So I'm going to do it a little different here today than what I usually do. Like I said, a little time crunch here. So I'm going to hit that again. That's a laser rangefinder confirmed, 20 yards. Uh, we'll hit it with the eight shot first so we can check the pattern. And uh, then I'll hit it with this wolf. Uh, one shot after the other should be pretty e easy to distinguish between the uh, double lot buck shot and the eight shot coming out of there. These, by the way, not the best double lot in my experience um, compared to some others that I like. Uh, usually these can pattern up to twice as big. So we'll see how she patterns them, but this stuff generally spreads out uh, pretty large compared to some uh, better offerings if you want tighter patterns. Uh, that's got a lighter trigger than I <laughs> expected, so I accidentally pulled when I was under the target uh, readjusting, so I shot pretty much the plastic, so I'm going to take one more of those double lot. <sighs> okay. Yeah, not too bad. <sighs> Get her down here. All right, so you can see all the eight shot, pretty well centralized pattern there. And again, we had the 22 caliber holes here, pistol was shooting earlier. There's all the double lot. So uh, the bead was about down here when I pulled the trigger on the second one. So there's the pattern on that. Like I said, the first one went down here and oh yeah, I can see the, the holes I just shot through this thing. <laughs> I was literally pretty much aiming at this when I pulled the trigger on the first one on accident. Like I said, yeah, look at that. The uh, trigger's pretty light. It's about like a three pound, four pound trigger, a little lighter than I was expecting. I'm going to put uh, one of these slugs down range real quick. Uh, just check for point of impact. So if I can make it down to the rifle range in time, um, hopefully get some hits on my plate out there or something. All right, so put that slug right about where I needed it there at 20 yards, and that's just from the wad impacting. All right, so I looked this up. I believe it was uh, four plus one capacity. Uh, oftentimes, though, he will have his shotguns plugged because he hunts with them. Yep, this one's plugged. So, and I keep dropping them. Ugh. Uh, we're only going to be able to have three, three rounds at a time in here. Because he's got it plugged there. So here's the eight shot. Go 
Come on there. Just didn't line it up right. All right, so let's go for the blue bowling pins on the right. <laughs> I like this thing. Man, the, the recoil impulse is really light too. And this is a uh, plastic butt pad there, so no dampening there. And uh, this thing's shooting really soft. Feels like, feels like I'm shooting a 20 gauge with light loads. I think that proves that point there with those. What we got here? I think one of these left. I guess we'll smack one. I'll hit that football with this double lot real quick. These are steel, so definitely do not want to shoot steel with steel. <laughs> that knocked it down with some authority. Well, like I said, a little shorter than usual, but man, this thing runs great. Knocking those down, no problem. 15 yards there, by the way, with that crappy, uh, cheap, low brass 8 shot. But I'm going to get down and hit some clays with it real quick before uh, they close down and I can't do it. All right, so here we are at one of the clay bays. I'm going to try this eight shot, and then I got a few of these uh, two shot waterfowl loads here. They're just two and three quarter inch. Um, if you guys caught my Browning A5 video that Andrew loaned, um, I was saying that I was thinking these are like 50, 60 yards out there where the clay comes out, and it shoots them behind this big tree here. And I don't know why I didn't think of it in this video, uh, in that video, uh, but I got my rangefinder here. And, I'll just find out so I think they do come towards you a little as it shoots them out um, but they stay behind that tree there so because I'm constantly busting them right up in there behind the tree okay wow yeah I was right on the money so 59.8 yards to that B thrower there there's an A right behind it too and it throws them behind this tree I would imagine quite a bit behind the tree to not hit any of those branches there on the back side uh, the tree says 38 yards, but again, it's behind them. So I think they're at least 50 yards out there by the time they get up here where I'm hitting them. Link in the description for this thing, by the way, if you want to get yourself a good budget option uh, range finder and all the products I use in the videos for that matter. Um, so anyways, I'm feeling pretty confident with this thing. So we're going to try these 50 or so yard uh, clays out here with it. I was busting them with that browning, so hopefully I can still hit them real good with this plain jane 1100 here i'm really liking this thing but all right here we go with some of that eight shot oh oh As you can see there guys with the brightness under the sun and the exact uh, angle that it's at there is making it really difficult to see the clays. So for the rest of this I'm going to dark it out like that last clip there was that way it's easier to see. So it'll look a little funky but you guys will be able to see the Whoa. clays. Whoa. They're being kind of erratic today. They're all over the place. But hey, it's you know, it's mixing it up. I don't know what to expect on each one and I hit them all, so Let me try that A. Pull. There we go. Pull. There we go. Pull.
Pô. Pô. Ah, I missed it. I had some smoke coming out in the sunlight. It looked cool. But I got a few of these in here. We'll try these. So they'll get out there a little faster so my lead won't have to be as much. Dang it, I forgot to pattern these on the, the range. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, if you want to see how these pattern, uh, it seems like this is patterning similar to the, that browning. Just uh, go check out that browning uh, A5 video. And actually, I'll, I'll link it in the description for you guys if you want to go check it out. Uh, but obviously with eight shot, you're going to have a denser pattern with less holes in it uh, than with the two shot. So anyways, we got four of these. Let's we'll see if we can get four hits. Pull. Pull. I don't see nothing. Pull. Sometimes they mess up. It could be that thing out there. Pull. There's the smoke. <laughs> that third one there uh, with the two shot, I'm not sure. I don't think I let it quite enough or it could have just slipped through the pattern. I don't know. Either way, I think that's really impressive results. I'm absolutely loving this thing, not only because of the performance, but it, it like fits me like a glove. Super comfortable. Recoil is really light. Just absolutely loving it. Um, hit pretty much every one of those out there I had like 95 percent or better ratio and i mean this is the first time i shot it so i'm sure i could get to where i hit every single one with a little more practice so uh to me this thing is shooting phenomenally all right here we are down at the rifle range so i got four of those slugs left uh, i'm using a little bit bigger steel than what you may have seen in the previous shotgun reviews where i do this uh typically i put my 16 inch down there but this one is a 20 inch uh, it's thicker, bigger, and heavier, so uh, the ground's frozen, so I can't get my hook in the ground to hang it, so that's why I'm using this bigger one here. Um, because I'm pretty sure it would knock over that 16-inch because it's only quarter inch. <laughs> so they got a 20-inch 3 eighths down there now, so um, hopefully it should be, uh, you know, hitting it down there. So I'll just hold dead center, hopefully we get hit, and I'll try to just print a little makeshift group down there. Uh, not going for superb accuracy, anything like that. It is a bead side after all, but I'll see what we can do. Well, there you go. She'd send uh, slugs down there 50 yards, no problem. And I'm, I'm sure it'll group tighter than that. I wasn't really trying. Um, so <clears throat> I got just a quick little bonus footage for you guys at the end. If you stay tuned for the next few minutes, I uh, appreciate you making it till the end. So I, sometimes I try to throw in a little something extra there. But that'll do it there. Um, I am <laughs> no holding back. I'm absolutely in love with this, this thing. It's probably one of the best all well-rounded uh, shotguns I've ever shot. Busting clays out, 50 yards, no problem. Pattern's real nice. Uh, shoots slugs just fine. Recoil is super soft. I don't think I've ever felt a softer recoiling uh, 12 gauge. Now, I just had that Browning A5 out, like I said, and you know they advertise that Browning as the softest recoiling uh, 12 gauge available or what have you. Call it marketing hype or whatever. Um, it did uh, have real soft recoil. Uh, but I gotta say, this thing actually feels like 
it has less recoil than that Browning did, which is just really odd to me, especially considering it's got that plastic in there. So uh, the Browning had rubber. So I'm certainly not getting any more recoil from this thing, and I swear it feels like it's lighter. But yeah, I am freaking in love with this thing. Uh, it's just an excellent all-around performer and real soft on the shoulder there too. So I'm definitely going to have to be looking for one of these to add to my collection. But like I said, small bonus coming up. Um, if you guys want to get yourself any products you see me use in the video, like target stands, still targets, shooting bag, and way more, links are in the description. I recently activated channel memberships, so if you guys want to join the channel and uh, help me grow and put out hopefully better videos for you guys in the near future, you can uh, join up if you'd like and get some recognition for it as well. Uh, probably here soon, maybe by this video, have Patreon or PayPal or something like that. I've always stayed away from that, but I just kind of finally realized that there's some videos I'd really like to do, and I just can't quite afford to do them, so um, I figured if uh, any of you guys would like to help out, that I'd make the option available. So I've done so, so if you'd like, uh, check that out. But with that, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. All right, a little bonus footage for you guys. If you stuck around in the end, I appreciate that. I'm going to send two of these, uh, that two shot there at some water filled two liters down here make sure I don't hit anything else <laughs> thanks for watching